Good day, lords and ladies of the internet. I am your host, the Parafox Archangel, the potential future king of the internet. Uh, and I'm glad to see you here once again as we continue our glorious tale and saga into Mountain Blade. So, what is the goal of today? Well, first, if I'm not mistaken, there was still a tournament here in this place. And the thing about tournaments is I think they don't do anything until dawn. So, also, I... Do I have loot? Did I have prisoners or was that Sargoth itself? No, I have prisoners too. Meaning it's time for me to go to the ta tavern and sell my prisoners. So, how much money do we have? 800. Not bad, really. Not bad at all. So... Everyone knows that if you're starting out your quest for glory, you need some funding before you can work on these things. I still need a better sword, but in order to get a better sword, I need a much better source of money. So, that is the goal. We need to assess the local prices. You overhear several discussions about the price of trade goods across the local area. You listen closely, trying to work out the best deals around. Come on, Mar Marnard. Let's see how good you actually are. As a member of the highest trading skill, three, Marnard figured out the best goods to trade in. Marnard finds the following. Buying grapes here and selling them at Revenum would profit four deniers per item. Marnard, we need a little chat about your skills. About and how pathetic you are apparently trading. Because that was awful. You found us one item for pennies that we could trade in. I really feel like I just have to buy that. Just because it suits me too perfectly. Along with the leather gloves. They would probably help too. Screw it all, we're not getting any prices from here anyway, so let's just head back. Visit the port, why not? What do we find in the port? You visit the port of Saragoth. While you look around, you feel the strong wind from the ocean pulling on your clothes. Many ships are anchored here, and you notice that crews are already loading them with na with, na with native goods. While a group of men is discharg still discharging their cargo, one of them seems to be in charge of the harbor. So you walk up to them and ask him for help. He looks like he he looks at you and says, "What do you want, lad? Don't you see I'm busy?" Well, I could purchase a ship for 60,000 deniers and manage ships and wow, this is... Okay. We're not doing any of that. Uh, where's a nearby city then? How much cash do we actually have? 60 diner. Well, um... Frankly, we could probably use a little variance over our current party being only Nords. Actually, let's have a look at your equipment, too, briefly. You don't need anything from me, that's for sure. Alright, Mal. Alright, girly. Up, oh, let's go to here. Ishimara, or whatever the hell it's called, to get some possible non-Nordic recruits. Hello there, random peasants. Do you have anything you could possibly sell? Not for prices I'm willing to buy at. No one here is willing to join me. Well, screw you all then. What about this lovely land of re... Rebatch here, or whatever. Rebatch. Are any of you lovely gentlemen willing to join me on my quest for glory? We have a gentleman amongst you. Glorious. What do you actually have in terms of... Stuff? Uh, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Right, let's go to Kural, then. No, let's pillage the looters! What do you want? Surrender or die, noble scum! As you wish, prepare to die. Ha! You think you can kill me and my and my troops? We outnumber you three to one! Man, I expect none of you to be dead. Slave driver killed by looter. Are you bloody kidding? Pathetic. Pathetic. 
You there, you're not getting away. Got him! Well, I'll let you men kill the last one. No, he's running the hell away. Good shot. I didn't even need to finish it. Well, the battle is won! And we lost a slave driver. Because he's an idiot. And we gain another one. Sure. I don't have enough money to upgrade the archer. Damn it. Well. Let's see whatever what they've all looted then. Hooray for the bunch of crap. Let's move into Coral that now then. Let's go to the tavern now. What a lovely tavern this is. Well then. Hello there, Ransom Broker. I have prisoners I want to sell. You will give me th 96 deniers for my three prisoners. Um. Okay, I'm gonna sell it to this woman then. Woman, I, I would. Would you like to buy a man? Yes, that's more the price I'm talking about. Hello there. Um, you look like an interesting fellow. Hi. Sa oh, say, friend, are you by chance heading out of town anytime soon? I am. What concern of it is o of yours, may I ask? I'm an engineer, specialized in the art of fortification. If you need, to, if you need a wall knocked down, I can do that. Given enough time, if you need a wall built back up, I can do that too. Although it will take longer and cost you more, and you can't cut costs either, unless you want your new evidence wall coming down underneath you as someone around here just had just found out. The castle in here in Kurul wanted a new tower added to the wall. Trouble is, he ran out of cash halfway through the process before I could complete the support. I told him that it would collapse, and it did. Unfortunately, he was standing on it at the time. The new castle in didn't like feel like honoring his predecessor's debts and implied that I might find myself charged with murder if I put the, push the point. More fool me ha for ha having taken the contract without an advance, I suppose, but the end of it, of it all is that I'm in a difficult spot, with the roads full of bandits and no money to pay for an escort. I'd be so much obliged if a well-armed army heading out in a few next do days could take me along. Where do you need to go? Garora, eventually, but I'd welcome the opportunity to get a few deniers in my pocket first, so I don't, so I don't come home empty-handed. So if you promise me food and the share of loot, I'd be happy to fight alongside you for a while. S siege work is my specialty, although I reckon myself- I can reckon myself- I reckon- uh, I reckon can handle myself well enough in an open battle if need be. Jesus Christ. That works for me! I will be pleased to hire you! Good. By the way, as a skilled engineer, I expect a payment for my services. A signing bonus of 300 deniers should be fair. Sorry, I can't afford that. Uh, be on your way. How much money do I have? 200. So close to paying for him. So close. But I also need to pay make sure I can pay my men. You know what? Fuck. Alright, we're gonna head over to Revelin then. Got us clear. There has to be something there. Wait! Assess the prices. We might find something we need to know. Ooh. Buying iron and selling it in Durham would br profit 74. Buying grapes here would profit f 45. Buying hides here and sell it selling it at Revercheck would profit 11. Hmm. Wait, where's Revercheck? Right there. Oh, there's only a single hide. You know what? Let's buy an iron. An iron. That is such a weird term. We're gonna buy an iron, and then we're going to go to the arena and beat the people up a little. Hello, Tournament Master. Would you care to share your name? I am the Parafox Archangel. Well met, the Parafox Archangel. I am the master of the tournaments here, blah blah blah. Let me in the fights. No bridge in this place, I see. Bye bye. Bye bye. You fall to me. What is with this badly maintained. Badly maintained place, anyway? I mean, look at it. There's trees growing out everywhere. 
come at me! Mm. Miscreants, I suppose would be the good term for you. Give me my sword back. I need that shield if you don't mind. Hell yeah! I am the best. I win! Ten down! Twenty-eight to go! I am one hit away from dying. Crap. You know, personally, this is hardly what I would call a all-out bout. <laughs> what the hell was that?! Oh, got a hundred in airs. That's actually not bad. Alright. Let me back in there. Time to kill! Oh! I might want to deal with those people. What the fuck was that? I can shield bash? Excuse you, when you swing, swing! If you don't mind, I need that shield. Mine was a little... broken. How do I... How the hell do I shield bash? From what? You didn't even poke me! How do you expect to beat me with a stick? Moron. Shield, shield, shield. Where's that shield? other shield go? Come on, it's over here, isn't it? Yes, yes. Practice shield. Come on. Yes. Full shield. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I had more than 17 HP. Bull crap. Oh, just hit me down. You cheat. You can't swing twice in a second with a sword like that! That is not physically possible! <laughs> Fuck. My shield died. And they all decided to gang up on me. Cause they all know who would win if they didn't. Fuck them all. Oh, fuck off! That's not fair! Oh, that's definitely not fair. Come on, give me a break. Why am I unable to take that? That is bogus, and you know that, game. If I have a bow, I have a right to pick up a sword. And if I have a sword and shield, I have a right to pick up a fucking bow. Face me. Inglorious combat. <laughs> Apparently I can one-shot these people with this sword. Wow. That's quite impressive, really. I think I need a bigger sword. You know what? I have the ability to level up. I should do that. Right, final one. Let's do this. I'm ready for you all. Come at me! Ow. Fucking bow and arrow. Swing and hit, you moron! Jesus Christ, me! <laughs> Fuck this, I'm done! How much money do I have? 200. 500, even. I can buy that other... I can buy that other iron now. Where was it I needed to sell it? Alright. Durham. Here in the middle of the land. Right. Off we go then. I've had enough. Like, we are now a caravan. We are a trading caravan, nothing more. Who are you? Lizard. Yes, what is it you wish? Merely to pass the day, the tr time of day, tra fellow traveller, if you permit. Well, very well, I do not mind. My name is Lazarus. That's not what it says up there. I am the second son of the Count of Georgia. Of whom you have no doubt heard. Having no inheritance of my own, I came here to seek my fortune in Caladria. Training men in the art of battle. For unfortunately, the Lord in Revenon has no taste for my disciplinary methods needed to turn the rabble into soldiers. I told him it was wiser to flog them now and then bury them later, but he would not listen. I was told to take my services elsewhere. Hmm. So, if you know any commander who believes his, that his purpose is to win battles rather than pamper his soldiers, I would be pleased if you directed me to him. I might be able to use you in my company. I would be pleased to ride with you, at least for a little while, for, for pay and a share of any loot. 
I'm a skilled swordsman, and I also instruct your men in in fighting. But I warn you that I do not care to fight for a leader who is lax in discipline with his men. For in the long run, they will not respect a soft hand. Good, I'll be happy to hire someone like you. One last thing. I would ask for an initial bounty of 400 denaires before I join your command. It is principle never to enter someone's service without receiving the payment I deserve. Fuck. What's the price li prices like in this place, then? Uh, buying wine here and selling it somewhere else would offer fucking nine coins, really. Whatever. Dor we can't go to the ma the bloody- Fine, whatever! Screw him, then! We don't need a trainer, I'm a trainer! Four grain for, like, thirty denaires, that's gotta be make a profit somewhere. That's all I gotta say. You seem very far from your homeland. Purple people, uh, Khajiit Kanit, Klanit, Karnid, whatever, however the hell I pronounce that. Ooh, more free grain. Cheap grain. And more willing recruits. Ah, what a nice prosperous town. Let's sell the iron, which I was told I could make a profit on here. I'm gonna guess I can make a profit on grains somewhere. Just tell me where. Wurchek. Back up north. Got it. This village has been infested with bandits? We must save the poor bastards! Come, men! I am a merchant by trade, but I will save peasants by day or by night. Have we won? Have we won yet? Yes, we've won now. Well done, farmers! You fought well! I must say. Did I have any casualties? Of course I bloody did. My men are useless. Well, we got most of them. I will refuse your items as much as I wanted the wheat. I got, an I got a few dinners. That'll do me. Ooh, I got honor. Excellent. Are any of you willing to join me? Four of you. That'll do. Do you have any grain? You do have grain. Even better! Save people, gain people, get honor, get grain. Couldn't be worse, couldn't be worse. And Mathid has leveled up. Excellent. Well, looking at her, she could use some iron flesh. She needs more health. And some strength. She's a warrior. She needs to be treated as such. And skill up as such. Murid is a trader, so... That's what he should be trading up in. Well, for now, we've just got to go to... We're just going to go to the outlying villages and basically gain more stuff. My god, the grain is so cheap. Do I have any space left? I have loads of space left for grain. I am clearly a food merchant at this point. Not befitting of one of my banner, but... Hey, we all gotta start somewhere. The Kingdom of Swadia and the Khajiit made peace. They were at war. Man, I really don't pay attention to politics. Well, payday came, and I'm left with nothing. So now, it's time to run all the way to Wurchek. Up north. So, we better start moving. It's probably going to take us a couple of days to get there. I wish we moved a lot faster. Because really, we don't. Then again, we've got like... Only six people on horses, so what do I expect? Those are some very weak looking manhunters. Those are some a little a little stronger looking manhunters. I wonder if we can find some sea raiders around here. Ah, the goods merchant, about time. If we sell most of our grain, we should make a profit. Glorious. That's a fair profit if you ask me. Well then, don't know what to do else apart from that. We sold our stuff. I look for the part of being a merchant. Now what? Probably go to the next place. Buy stuff here, go to the next place. Who have we got around here? Two guys. Hi there. Greetings, fellow traveler. Perhaps you can help me. How is that? 
I shall tell you, but know that it is a tale of gross inquity. I warn you in advance, lest you are a chronic tem of a chronic temperament, and so become incest, that the injustice done unto me, that you do yourself a mischief. Can I get a translation? I am by training a natural philosopher, but condemned by the jealousy of the thick-headed doctors of my university to make my living as an ir... ir an unlicensed surgeon. I was hired by a merchant of this city to cure his son, who fell into a coma after a fall from his balcony. I successfully trepanned the patient's skull to reduce the cranial swelling, but the family ignored my advice to treat the ensuing fevers with a, a tingage of willow bark and the boy died. The father, rather than reward me for my efforts, charged me with sorcery. Me, a philosopher of nature. Such is the ignorance and ingratitude of mankind. The lord of this castle is reluctant to place me under arrest, but I am anxious to move on elsewhere. Well, you could travel with us, we could, but you'd have to be able to fight on our battle line. As I told you, I am a surgeon, not some silk-robed university physician who has never touched a body. I can get my hands dirty. I have treated ve every variety of wound that can be inflicted by the hand of man. Before I was a surgeon, I was a student, so you may be sure that I have inflicted wounds as well as healed them. You're welcome to our party, Doctor. Good. Give me a few moments to prepare and I'll be, and I'll be ready to move. Excellent! Hello there, Rolf. Um, greetings. I am Rolf, son of Rolf, m of the most ancient... Christian House of Rolf. Um, I have never heard of the House of Rolf. Really? But then, well, perhaps your ignorance can be forgiven. Our ancestral lands are far away over the mountains. Like all men of, of my family, I come from a foreign land to make a name for myself in the profession of arms before returning home to take cu custodianship of, of my estates. Unfortunately, the authorities in these lands have little understanding of the warrior code and have chosen to call me a bandit and a brigand and put a price on my head. A most unfair label to throw at a gentleman adventurer, you will surely agree. A gentleman adventurer? Say no more, good man! But I am anxious to avoid any further trouble, so if you n knew any company of, of fighting men where I might enlist, I would be most grateful. I run such a company, and might be able to hire an extra hand. Good! I look forward to vanquishing your enemies. Note, however, that as a gentleman, and a holder of a barony, I expect to be in a position of command, and not treated as one of the common soldiers. Very well, good sir. I'll be glad to have you with us, Baron. Excellent. Before we depart, I would like I would be so kind would you be so kind as to lend me three hundred dinars? I had a I had to pawn a family heirloom at a pawnbroker here in Wurchek, and I would like to retrieve it before we leave. Fine. You're a gentleman. I can't leave you out on the cold. Good. Give me a few moments to prepare and I'll be ready to move. Well I got no cash now, do I? Not really. Marnard, what's cheap? Nothing. Nothing's really cheap. Great. Well, I need to fight something, so... What kind of fighting arena is this? Ah, oh, fuck you! Aha! Uh -huh. You think you can fight me? You're an idiot! Well, I've beaten six, so that's the 40 dinar mark, at least. Aha! New shield! Glorious! And I level up! Even more glorious! Come at me, miscreant! Well, both my shields kind of suck right now, so... Hence my point. Okay. You wanna fight each other? I'm good with that. Oh, fuck off! Fight each other if you're gonna fight me! Knock me down at least, you cheats! Will there be any tournaments soon? Uxia, Kuldad, and Charles. Neither of those sound like they're in nearby, so I'm going to ignore them. Fuck off! Fuck off! What the fuck was that? I win. Man, I need to get myself one of these. I don't make a bad inventory man. 
Oh crap! I swung first! What is with all these cheats? What the f- What the f- Fuck you're using- What the fuck you're using a dagger?! 70 damage. That feels good. I want to hit the at least the fucking 20 mark! I live in here now. This is my battleground. What the fuck was that? You hit me but not each other? Fuck off! Sorry, you blocked me with what? You didn't have your shield up. That's not how the game mechanics work. I got over 20. Whatever. 13 people and I got 22 of them. You all suck. I win. Good enough for me. Let's head over to the next city. Wherever the hell that is. I think I've learned I want a two-handed weapon. They hit harder. Especially in shields don't do that much. Non-aggression treaty. The Nords and the Rorks have formed a non-aggression treaty. What the hell kind of si situation is that? That's new. Aha! Looters! Let's go get them. Come here, come here, we're gonna get you, we're gonna get you. Surrender or die, scum! Plan your battle with the enemy. What? Um... Reassess. Okay, screw the planning battle. I'm not that good at th tactics. I just kill. Especially when there's 44 of us and 6 of them. I might be a merchant somewhat right now, but when there's nothing to buy or sell, it's time for the, the merchant to become the, the warrior. Where the fuck is the enemy? There they are! I killed all but one. Well done, men. You did it. You did something. You existed. That's what you did. Let's just move. I must say, I really wish that we moved faster. Sea Raider landing. That looks cool. You approach the hideout. The Sea Raiders don't appear to have spotted you yet, and you could still sneak away unnoticed. The difficult... Screw it all, we're attacking! We got a lot of stuff if we beat one of these bases, I'm sure. Come, men! Who do we have here? Jeremus, Mathed, Huntsman, Footman, Rolf. Well, guess Menard doesn't deserve... She isn't a fighter, but then again, neither is Jemias, so... <laughs> fucking bull crap! I have a fucking shield! It's... What the fuck was that hit?! I am fucking sorry, but you can't hit me for half my fucking health! No! No with an attack like that! Fuck off! Oh, you're wounded? What the fuck about me? Shut the fuck up! You didn't get hit for all your health in one hit, you bloody worthless weakling! That was fucking bullcrap. That was legit bullcrap. Oh, Lizard, you're here. Oh, is that... Oh yeah, Artemis here too. You're the trainer. So, what have you been doing since our last encounter? I've gone from court to court, but I've yet to found a lord who is liking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll fire you now. Sure. I'm good with that. We've still got enough. we got a, still got a lot of Daenerys. Our group is growing. That's for sure. They need fucking horses. You're not a very good soldier. You have no health. I'll admit you're a good trainer, but you're not a good soldier. I can set mod preferences? Like what? Well, this is special stuff I'd probably need to do in the background. Well, change my party's name? The Gentleman's Army. There we go. Right, we are now just going to wait here. For a moment. You know, just so you know, I cannot abide by the... Abide that insolent Montebank, Jeremus. For so some minutes ago, I was remarking to our companions how the peasants of this region were more... 
were more than usually slack-jawed and beetle-brown, and speculated that perhaps they had they had bred with apes. Jeremus, that font of impudence, overheard me and called me ignorant and a savage, and other words I do not care to repeat. It was only it was only out of respect for that you that I refrained from cutting his throat then and there. I only thought it fit that I should warn you. Jeremus is a capable member of our company, and I don't want you picking any more fights with him because he's the fucking medic. Even if he's bad at his job, because he's still wounded. When he shouldn't be. Well. This. This has gone a bit haywire today. We did a bit of caravanning. Fuck your quest had failed. Like I could have got there. And Jesus Christ. That was a lot of experience the soldiers gained. Lazarus, you were not a bad choice. That's for sure. Well. Other than this being exceptionally annoying. I guess. We're done for the day. Thank you all for joining me through this quest into glory. I hope I have been your host and future king, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I hope to see you all again next time. But until then, it's time for me to bid the all farewell, good day, and finally, good night.